Today I'm going to be bringing up why a Trump 2024 presidency is not going to be as good as people think. Um, but yeah, let's, let's get into the video. If you can do me a favor, hit the subscribe button down there if you like anything I say. If you I try to be I try to try to be as, as objective as possible, and so uh, any subscri any subscriptions feel free to comment. Um, I do like to make videos very frequently, so if you could just yeah hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification as well. There should be three options. Turn off. There's gonna be off. Uh, the regular mode, if you go to the top, I should say all, click on that, that way you get more of my political content, as well as, uh, my music content and my cultural topics I like to bring up, uh, hence the MPC logo, but yeah, let's get into the video. So the first thing I'm gonna bring up is the fact that Trump in 2016 inherited a very good economy. Uh, so, we're about to go into the statistics of it, and with the power of it, really, where to go? So, if you look right here, right, you go from the 2008 financial crisis, right? I believe this is, yep. So, this would be the final year of the Bush presidency, where it starts spiking, right, for approximately two years, you know, unemployment is in December of 20, so throughout 2012, it's hovering around 8%, right? Seven, you know, some ticks there, and this, so in 2013 was the start of the Obama presidency, his second term, unemployment spikes all the way down to, uh, believe, we're gonna go... Okay, so if you look right over here, right, in 20, from, to like, from 20, 2012, at the end of the Bush presidency, you have, so this is the start of the Obama first term, right, everything slowly kind of goes down, unemployment is slowly going down from the 2008 financial crisis that was uh, in the Bush era, but it takes about two terms, really, from uh, 20... Uh, so January 2016, and since the President of the United States in the election does not hold office until the January of the following uh, following year, we could probably go to like uh, January, February, right? So 2016, probably looking at... Yeah, it's like February 2016, right? like, I think, 10 days of Trump taking office in 2016, unemployment was already at a 4.6% rate, right? It was steadily dropping, um, and then COVID happened, it was, um, that's, you know, the height of COVID, the pandemic, all that, people weren't working, and then you had, um, but since then, it slowly it spiked down and is now hovering at around uh, you know, 3.7%, and then we're about to go look at the, the, uh, job numbers, too, because, again, created jobs matter, right, if you look at worker sentiment and, uh, consumer, you know, and just overall money flowing in and out of the economy, being spent, being, you know, flown around, right, so let's take a look at that. So, if you look at the numbers again, these are uh, just job growth numbers, right? So, if you look in 20, 2016, or sorry, rather 2017, right, at the end of the, you know, the Obama, Obama presidency, um, the, all the job figures are actually not as high as in the Trump presidency, right? So, look at 2017, you have uh, two, uh, 212, um, So if you look at the job numbers here, right, you're looking at, so in 2017 when Trump took office, we were roughly at 2 million jobs, because uh, all the numbers you see below on the chart are, uh, are in the thousands, so multiply, you know, 200,000 200, jobs, we're looking at 
197, right? Oh, but they're all going down, right? 92,000. Uh, 2018, you have 146. February, it spiked to 387,000, right? So you have all these different things, all these different metrics. And in fact, if you look, Biden's job growth is actually a lot higher from 2021. Again, all the numbers indicate his, um, his numbers in regards to job growth, in regards to, um, you know, just keeping the economy stable are all better according, and these are all uh, government statistics, right? And it, he has had more job growth, right? So I, I think it's unfair. I think the, a lot of the criticisms of Biden are, um, are not really too fair. You know, it's a. Uh, if you want to say the economy sucks, yeah, you, the economy sucks when you're transitioning from one main energy source to another, but. I mean, overall, he really hasn't done that bad of a job if you look at everything, right? It just in And so yeah, and I'm uploading a part two to this on how the media makes people think that things are so much worse than they are. Because not only do I well not only do I make this is why I make content, right? I don't know, music, politics, culture, MPC. And, uh, yeah, and I'm gonna start, uh, doing the streaming stuff soon. But, yeah, like I said, you know, hope you enjoy the video, because in my streams, we, we rag on journalists, on, on hacks, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, yeah, so, if you just want to stop by for a stream, go right ahead, too, if I'm gonna be getting that up soon. But, uh, gotta re-get the supplies for that. But, anyways, figure to make this video real quick. Peace.